Guys, light is your number one security tool, and you should have an EDC light in your pocket. Uh, whether it's at night, it can be used as a defensive weapon. I mean, there's so many uses for light. For me, EDC, um, I carry the Olight Arcfeld. When this came out, super thin, 1,000 lumens, even has a green laser attached to it. It's just really easy to slip into your pocket, and it's very comfortable. But now Olight has upgraded, and this is the Arcfeld UV. Um, they've replaced the laser with a UV light, still has the 1,000 lumens, still has that really flat size to it. Only thing is, they've added some upgrades to it with texturing, better clip, actually a little smaller in dimensions. And so this is my number one EDC light. This is what I carry on an everyday basis. And now that they've gone to UV, there's a lot of advantages to having a UV light, especially if you travel a lot, because those hotel rooms can get pretty dirty. We want to thank Olight for sending the Arcfeld UV for this review, and there is an affiliate link down below in the description. Click on it, use Suit00, and get a 10% discount. All right, guys, the Arcfeld UV. It's a perfect EDC flashlight, mainly because it's so thin. Uh, we've done reviews on the original Arcfeld, and it is an excellent light in itself. I mean, it's that same dimensions, about an inch, four and a half inches, and then a half inch in thickness. Uh, when you get to the clip, it's about three quarters of an inch. So very small, very easy to use. I mean, the interface is very simple. Now this one has the laser, and the one benefit from the laser is I get to play with my pug, Felix, and he runs around like crazy. But really, uh, to make it more practical, they've introduced the UV model. And so this has a toggle switch right here. You have your light mode, so you can just press it and then it just comes on and it goes up to a thousand lumens. Double click goes straight to a thousand. Super bright. But one of the things about it is that you can switch it to the UV mode. And now we have UV. And this is excellent for a number of different things. But to me, the number one thing is when you're in a hotel room, you can use the UV light and you can pick up body fluids. So if they have not been cleaning, uh, and guys, I'm gonna tell you, we've used UV lights before in hotel rooms and it's kind of shocking in some places. But also you can find insects. Now, one of the things about gardening, a lot of times these insects will get into your garden, it's hard to see, especially hornworms around tomatoes, UV lights are perfect, it actually makes them glow. And also to tell if money is authentic, if it's real, you can use a UV light to test that. It just gives you two different capabilities. So we have our regular light and our UV light. Also, it does come with a charging pad, has a rechargeable battery inside. You can just pop this on the back, put this into any USB, and you can charge your light. Uh, they also make what they call the Amino Bar, and it is really cool. It's a four-port little charging station. But it also comes in neutral white and it comes in cool white. And we'll check that out in a second. With the standard arc failed, it's smooth on the sides. Uh, with the new model, it has serrations all along the side. So it gives you just a little bit of gripping. Uh, I've never really noticed that too much. I mean, this is just a very easy light, mainly because that clip comes back and you've got a good grip to it. But this definitely gives you a little more texturing and it really helps. Plus they've recessed this area in the back. And so your clip, fits closer. Here you can see it's just a little bit thicker. This is 19 millimeters on the original. It's gone down to 16. And you can see it has the double clip. So it's just more versatile. You can do more things with the double clip, including putting this on the bill of your cap. Also on the clip, there has been added a hole here for a lanyard. And so you can just slip a lanyard through here if you want one. The original just had a plain clip. And so it gives you a little more options. Now with the original arc failed, you put it in, it rides nice and low in your pocket. With a new Arcfeld design in the UV, it goes all the way down. So that is a huge plus. And again, if you want to put a lanyard on here, it has that hole for it. But really easy to grab this light in and out of your pocket. It's that flat surface, so when you grab it, you know you have it in the right spot. And with the clip, and then you can go straight to your lumens. Guys, this thing is super bright. And then again, if you want to go with the UV, you got it blue accents with the black version, and then with the green OD version. It's black accents, same light, and then with the orange anodized finish. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Now, also, it's IPX7. Uh, that way, you don't have a small little boot you're putting a charger in. 
and those can get water in them. I've sent two Surefires back, the Stiletto and the Stiletto Pro, because they just shorted out, putting them in the water. With this, it is completely submersible, and again, your charging's there, and so it really helps protect the light. And, you know, if you're carrying this every day, good possibility you could drop it or it could get water in it, and so that way you've got good protection. Now, to go through the lumens, uh, just press and hold, and it comes on your moonlight setting. It's one lumen. Press and hold again, and it goes up to five lumens. Press and hold again, and it just continues to go up in lumens. And then finally, it goes back down. If you double click, it goes to your full 1,000 lumens. And guys, it is incredibly bright. If you triple click, it goes into strobe. So it does have a lot of features, but it's very simple. All right, here we have the arc field, one lumen, moonlight setting. It's not really showing much out here. We're going to go up to the 15 lumen setting. We're getting a little bit of light. Go up to the medium setting of 60 lumens. Then we're going to the high. Now this is 300 lumens. It's got a nice diffuse beam. Uh, that's about 15 yards out. It's not that far. This is in the cool white. Now we're going to double click and we're at the thousand lumens. <laughs> really nice bright light. Uh, has a real nice spill. It's not really a hot spot. This is great for getting just an all around light in a large area. Now we're going to click down to the UV and this is it and this is all you're getting. You're getting one setting UV. Really very similar to black light. But there's a lot of properties with UV, not only we talked about, but there's also some uh, sterilization type properties with bacteria and things like that that UV kills. Now one thing also, if I press it, you'll notice these little lights that light up behind the dial. And that is for uh, battery indicators. And then you see it just light up. And as the battery starts to go down, it'll just drop with the lights. If you'll notice on the back, we have two different numbers. Uh, this is the neutral white, and then we have the cool white. And you have options with any color. Now the green light is a cool white, and so we're gonna click on it, and you can see it just has that really white color. For neutral white, it gives you just a little bit of warmth to it. And so here you can see the difference with a little bit of warmth, more natural color comes through with the neutral white. With the cool white, it's more of a white white. And so it just gives you a different color feel. Uh, some guys like the cool white better, some like the natural white. Personally, I like the cool white a little better. You can see detail a little better. But you can see better color with the neutral white. Okay, now we have a thousand lumens with the neutral white. I'm gonna kinda of bring in the cool white on this side and on the right is the neutral white. You're getting just a little better color, but there is that little bit of natural tint to it. With the cool white, honestly, it gives it just a little more detail, uh, but it's really a brighter light in a sense, but yet the warm or the neutral white comes in. I mean, they're both great lights. It's just according if you really want to identify color or you want to come in and identify detail. And as far as durability, uh, with the original, uh, we beat the fire out of it. I ran over it with the Hummer. We threw it up about 10 times. We put it in the pool for a good long while to, just to see if we could get this to crash. And then, of course, you can see all the dings all across it. Uh, and that's just from running across pavement and different things. And I'm going to tell you guys, these lights are almost bulletproof. I mean, it's amazing how much they'll take. And again, they are IPX7, so these are submersible for up to 30 minutes in two meters of water. But to be honest with you, it'll go a lot deeper and longer than that. Now the UV gives out a very distinct look and it is kind of that uh, deep, kind of a bluish hue to it or purple. And it really allows for you to pick up different signatures. It's only one setting. And so you get that, just that one setting, but that's all you really need. But I'm telling you guys, we've seen things on the walls <laughs> when we go to a hotel room. And having this light really allows you to confirm that this is clean and, you know, you want to be in a clean room. Now, the packaging is excellent. I mean, it's almost like an iPhone. It's very well done. A lot of information on the back. Then as we bring it out, it's in a nice carton. keeps it well protected. 
And one thing they'll say is you got to press and hold. When you first get this, they set them to where they put them in lockout. Uh, you don't want this coming on while it's traveling. And so you can just read the instructions. It gives you really good instructions, plus an instruction manual and your cable for charging. One good thing is the back is magnetic. This will go on any surface, this metal that is magnetic, and then you can just turn your light on. It gives you a hands-free option. And if you have a ledge overhanging, you can do it that way, vehicles, different things. So it does give you that different option. Guys, the Art Felds are very functional. They're easy to carry in your pocket uh, with the light. It gives you a really bright light. Great for EDC, and you can tone that down for darker times when you just want a little bit of light. Uh, then you have your UV option, which definitely makes this more friendly, especially, guys, if you're traveling. Uh, but anytime, uh, this is just a great option. The clip's been improved. I really like that. And these side serrations really make it more grippable. Now, these lights run $79.99, which is a great price, especially for flat flashlights. So they typically run a little bit more. Uh, you do get a 10% off using Suits 00 down in the coupon code, and so it just gives you a better price. And it's free shipping over $49 in the U.S., so you know, you're going to get it for a very good price. So guys, now I personally have some options, uh, whether I want to go with the laser or the UV light. And of course, the upgrades on this make this a no-brainer. Uh, guys, again, as soon as the original Arc Failed came in, I began to carry it, and I've not carried anything else. It's just so easy to slip in your pocket. And again, you get a 10% discount with the affiliate link down below in the description, and it'll give you 10% off, and that always helps. And we do appreciate Olight for sending the Arc Failed UV uh, and the original Arc Failed. I love this little laser. But I find that the UV comes in handy a lot more. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. So the charging pad on the back, magnetic, of course it has a number, anything fluorescent will also show up under UV, it's almost like black lights. Now we got it going on. And we want to thank, and we appreciate Olight for, but mainly I just love having, really make you do a big spring cleaning. <laughs>